basics first. Before you can use an artist intercom, you have to configure the system, and that's just about as easy as opening the boxes that it came in. Just start the director software on a Windows system by double-clicking on it. No installations necessary. Use your frame size from up here and place it on your worksheet. Double-click on it, and you see the inside of your mainframe. Now you can configure the client cards in the slots by selecting them from the pull-down menu. So, we have two CPU cards, one Cat5 card, and one AIO card. Just add two PSUs, and you're done. You see how all the client card ports become visible now? These are actually the ports where we connected the panels earlier. Now, from the pull-down menu, select the panel type connected to the port for the Cat5 port 1-1. We connected an RCP1028. On the second port, we have a DCP1016 connected. And on the analog client card, we have a four wire on port 2-1. Done. Now do the same with the second frame and the second DCP next to the red box. Hi, Jennifer. The postman said he left the big red Riedel box here. I'm so excited. <laughs> hey, Caitlin, nice to see you. Just be patient about the box. Could you do me a favor? While I finish the setup of the system here, could you be so kind as to unpack and install the second frame and desktop panel next to the red box and connect the GPI out to the box? Okay. Thanks. Back to the director software. Go to the network tab on the left side and open the network tree. Here, you'll find your panels sorted by client card ports and nodes. Now, if you double click on the RCP1028 panel, you get a what you see is what you get view of your panel. With a right click on the panel, you enter the properties where you can change the name of the panel. To add a call to the panel, simply use your mouse to drag and drop the DCP1016 panel to any key of your new desktop panel. Congratulations, you've just programmed your first call to port. The DCP panel below now reminds you not to forget to return the call. Just drag the local RCP label to the DCP. Done. I'll just do the same with the third panel of the second node. Of course, you can place any of the commands on a key manually. Simply right-click on a key with your mouse and select a command. You can even stack up to 16 commands on a single key. To save the configuration to the mainframe, you need to set your notebook's IP address to the default artist IP address range. And when you click on the net button, the blue connected sign lights up. Now, director is connected to the system. With the Save button, I can save my configuration to the system. Done. Caitlin, are you ready with the node and the panel yet? Yes, Jennifer, I just finished. Just close the fiber ring by connecting the fiber cable to the CPU. You should see my node now online in the Director Software node overview. Yes, I can see it online now, thanks. With the director software, you can see the live status of the system. Just click on the panel which is connected to Caitlin's node and select live status. Caitlin, can you please press a key on your desktop panel? Here, you see it in real time in the director. And even better, when I go to remote control, I can even press a key or change the volume of the cross point on Caitlin's panel. Hey, Jennifer, what are you doing with my panel? Just imagine the possibilities or the control you can have if you're in charge of a large system. Now, to show you what the red box is all about, 
we have to trigger out the GPI, which is connected to Caitlin's panel. I simply add the switch GPI out command to my panel and select the GPI at Caitlin's panel. Done. Caitlin, are you ready? Yes, everything's set up. Okay, then please step back from the red box. Well, folks, now that the two node artist matrix intercom system is set up and all the panels are running, it's time for the renal party! <laughs>